direct um, hand cream. I forgot to wash my hands before I did this. Ah, that's all right. Um, I still use this. Uh, this is my second little container of it. Um, I just use it really primarily just for my nails a couple of times a day. Um, and um, has it really done much? I don't know, but I, you've seen my nails. You guys, look what I did yesterday. Snapped it right off, right in the refrigerator. I was moving something and it snagged at the back of the refrigerator. And it just, because I caught it and pulled it and it just went, whoop, popped that nail, snapped it right in half. Um, anyway, so later today we're going to do um, a video because I'm going to polish my nails on how I grow out my nails, how I've been growing out my nails. You know what? I have to wash my hands. One second. I just washed the bottoms of it, my hand, the palms of my hand, uh, just to get the skin care off because I don't like the way that that feels. So let me put a little bit more of this on, but, um, yeah, I really wish this came in a pump. But, I mean, I guess I understand why it doesn't. I don't know. Anyway, how are you today? It is going to be kind of a boring day. Um, we have more dog grooming to do today. When we groom the dogs, it typically takes a week. Um, we brush, brush, brush every day, ferminate, you know, pull their undercoat out. And um, we do that every single day for a week. And then we follow with a bath. Um, if we bathe them before they're ferminated, it's, it's a nightmare. Um, I'm still using this. This is the Seeds seeds for the Garden of the Imagination Library of, of Flowers. I really like this. I really like this. This is the honeycomb scent. Um, I have another one in there that came from another company. But I absolutely love the scent of this, and it stays with me. It stays on my hands, um, and I really like that. And it's not oily or greasy, and I can use it right after I use my Dermalec, because that Dermalec, it, um, it gets into your skin and moisturizes from the inside, and that's what I feel that lotion does, too. I just really, really like it. And the other one... I've had this for a little while. I need to find, this is by Chorus. Chorus, if your hands are really dry, the, I use this after I do the dishes or after I've been cleaning or washing my hands like a lot, baking or cooking. This really does the trick, but you can feel this on your skin. So that's why I only use it after I've done the dishes or my hands are like chapped and really, really dry. Um, but I've had this one for a while. Yeah. It expires in November. So I need to use this up. There's probably like this much left in there, but I need to find where it came from or I need to find another one because I'll definitely re replace this and the, um, Ahava line. I like the Ahava line for hand lotions. Those are really the only ones I use because I don't like my hands to feel slick. This will leave your hands feeling slick but I leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes, and then I just wipe my hands with a towel, and it gets enough of it off, but leaves enough behind. So yeah, if that makes any sense. Okay, so you guys know, oh, I'm loving the Sika pair, right? Well, one of you, and I know your name, thank you, uh, told me about the Aborium, Herborian line, Korean skincare. So I ordered a little sample of it, and with it came a couple of samples of the matte cream and the pink, pink perfection cream. I am so excited to try this, and I use this on the back of my hands. It offers a little more coverage than the Sika pair, but I may have used too much just on the back of my hand. Um, so does this have Centrella Asiastica? <laughs> Anyway, um, but it does have SPF in it, but um, I was reading on the website and people were giving this rave reviews. So um, I'm not sure if people use the Sika pair the same way I do. I've not read the reviews, but um, this is a hair cheaper or less expensive than the Sika pair and I like the delivery method. You know, this is a tube. 
Uh, so I'm not having to stick my hands in it, which I really appreciate, but I think it's the tiger grass in the Sika pear that is really, I mean, the main, I don't know, we'll see. We're gonna try this too, but um, one or the other, I will continue to use. Um, you know, I just, I absolutely love that Sika pear. It's good stuff. And then here is the necklace I ordered. I showed you the picture, pardon my nails. This was like $11 and it's, oh, this was like $11 and it's the, so pretty little class pair. It's the uh, Argentino Vivo line. I love their jewelry. Uh, no, this isn't, this isn't them. And um, it's so, so pretty. The adorable matching earrings. These are like perfect. They're not too long can see they're quite small. I love these. I absolutely love these so, because I love that necklace and it was so inexpensive. It was like $11 and the earrings were like $9 if even. Okay, so I'm watching Jessica Braun at the moment and I am going to fill my water bottle and um, that's all I had left from yesterday. So I made it. I made it yesterday and I'm noticing the more I drink the easier it's getting. So, like, um, what am I trying to say? It's not as hard on my bladder anymore, and it's I'm learning to kind of drink it throughout the day steadily, and I'm learning I crave it. Like, I'll think to myself, ooh, I need some water, and I'll drink water. It's the weirdest thing. It really is the weirdest thing. So. I have reduced the amount of coffee I drink, not first thing in the morning. I'm still having three, maybe four cups of coffee in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm aiming for a cup of tea. Um, I love tea, but if I'm given the choice between tea and coffee and I can only have a limited number during the day, I'm gonna pick coffee. So, but I'm having tea in the evening. Oh, I'm so mad about my thumb. Anyway, um, I broke this one last week, but it's starting to come back a little bit. Anyway, but we're gonna talk about nails later. Um, we already did skincare this morning. Um, I saw, showed you my morning skincare. That's what I'm using right now. The only thing I really switch out is the vitamin C serum. It's the only thing I really switch out. Yeah. Okay, so my face, I'm fresh faced. Just washed my face. Um, I think I showed you this, didn't I? I've been using this toner. I really like it. And I'm going through this one. I've had this one for a little while. This is from Clarence. It's the Fix Makeup. I, I use it before my makeup. Um, it's just a rose spray. Mm. No. I like this. After I run, actually, after I run, I usually put a rose spray on only because these are what I have. I have another one over there that came in a box. This came in a box and I have one in here that came from a box. So I'm just trying to use them up. And after I go for a run, I'll come in and I'll spritz them all over me. I don't know why. That's just when I feel like I can use them. It's refreshing after a run. So technically I need to remove them from here in my bedroom and my makeup area and put them in the kitchen so that I have them after a run. So this will make your hair wet just the spray on this will make your hair wet, but I really like it. I'm gonna go put it back in my bathroom because I usually spray it right after I wash my face and after a shower, so I'll be right back. All right, we are going to use new products today. We're gonna use the uh, Airborean. We're gonna use those. So let me just get my face products on first or under my eye. Okay, so this is still sinking in. This is a lot of the matte cream. So I want to open this carefully. Addie is rolling around on the floor over there. Okay, so I think I have a little corner opened. Let me squeeze a little bit out onto my fingers. Oh, yeah, it's just a tiny, oh, perfect. Tiny little bit opened. Oh, it's not coming out though. Hold on, go. Just a little bit. Ooh, this smells nice. <laughs> And as it's a matte cream, I don't like to get it under my eyes, but I do like to get it on my eyelids. I do have oily eyelids. Mm. 
Ooh, this is nice. Hmm, don't really notice anything. But it, it says, does it say it's a pore filler? It's just mattifying and a blurring effect. I don't see a lot of blurring, but I don't, <coughs> excuse me. I don't mind that, don't mind that at all. So anyway, um, this is what I'm using together. This is the Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner Martian by Sunday Riley and the Sika Pair. These are the two I've been using together and they're working beautifully. And I will continue, no matter how fantastic this is, I will continue. You can just switch back and forth. Ah. There's a hair on my face, <laughs> shocking. Okay, so when I put this on the back of my hand, I realized I used way too much, so. I think that is plenty. It's like a pea size, maybe a little bit bigger. So. Okay. Um, slight sunscreen scent. This one's staying green. <laughs> Playing very nicely with the primer. So, like I said, it may just be I put too much on again. Like I did on my hand. You know, it's a balancing act. You have to kind of figure out what um, is the right amount. Oh, this feels nice. Wow. Nice. Now, no matter how great this is, I won't stop using my Sika Pair. I feel like that is also a skin treatment um, because I've seen improvement in the um, color of my skin since using the Sika Pair. Um, I will not stop using the Sika Pair, but doesn't mean I can't go to using it every other day because oh my my. I like this stuff. Wow. My skin shows through just like I like it to, but it just sort of evens everything out. Almost identical to this, but it has like um, a little bit more, um, a little bit more evening out. And I think I like that primer. Um, so I didn't, I don't think I spread it enough around here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So what are we going to use today? I think today we'll use our Lara Mercier. Okay. These are the two I'm using. It's dirty. <laughs> Lara Mercier, the uh, translucent, loose translucent setting powder. And this is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. Two very different powders, but pretty much are doing the same thing on my skin. I just take the flat end of this and I dip it into the powder. You see there's quite a bit on there. And I take the lid and I just sort of tamp it off. There's still quite a bit, not as much. And I place it on my face. Just, oh you guys, I made a boo-boo. I'm just gonna leave it just like this. No big deal. My Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. So, and then Nikki Joy offers a little bit more coverage. Um, it gives, I don't know, it's got a little pigment to the powder, whereas the Laura Mercier is mostly just transparent. So, and I really mat it down. You don't have to do that, but I have oily skin. So this is how I do it. Okay. It. let me put that away okay so I have some dry spots down in here ignore that maybe a little around my nose but you guys there's through my brush okay this looks beautiful what a fantastic finish I'm trying to see if it's focusing there we go it's such a great finish so if you like a little bit more of a foundation look I am probably gonna have to try, no, I don't need to try anything else with this, but this is fantastic. 
I really like this. Now, first impressions, obviously. Jessica Braun. That girl is such an influence on me. She and Marnie Goldberg, pretty much if they like it, I love it. Now, they both have dry skin, so foundation, that's out with me. But the other stuff they love, I typically love. And Jess, she really likes the same lip colors I like. Marnie's lip colors are typically too light for me. Um, I bought two of these. I've had these for a while. She recommended these like last year sometime in a vlog. Mm-hmm. It's coming across a bit more red in the camera and that's also because I used the NYX NYX um this is in what color is this peekaboo peekaboo neutral you don't you don't have to use um a lip liner with this I really like this I have another one in a darker color it's like a I wore yesterday in my grocery vlogs well you couldn't see because I had a mask on but it it like wears off gracefully it's glossy but it's not sticky. It is one of the, it's a smooth gloss, more like an oil, but it's not slick like an oil. It's not like that. It's just like the perfect combination. I don't even know, they still sell this stuff? I don't know, but I actually like it. Okay, it's lunchtime. I'm feeling comfort foods. I'm freezing in my house. It's not freezing outside. It's very warm outside, but I'm always cold. It's 83 degrees. It's the 12th, it's 156. So yesterday on the haul, you saw this chicken. So we're gonna use that, my beloved chicken salt and some riced cauliflower, little garlic. We're gonna make chicken and rice, this time using the chicken. Not the whole thing, um, maybe a lot of it, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna pick the chicken. Now there's drippings down in this chicken that I don't want to lose. We of course want to make sure we use those drippings. Um, so you'll see me pour those in the pan. All I'm gonna do is put those in the pan, put some of the uh, chicken in the pan, sort of start to warm it up, and then pour in the rice cauliflower, a little bit of, I may saute a little garlic initially, and then um, throw in the cauliflower and the chicken, let it cook a little bit, put a little bit of um, chicken stock in there, and the chicken salt, and we should be good to go. Um, nice, creamy, delicious lunch. I may add some Parmesan, just depends upon my mood. I did just order some pasta, nomnom.com. Paolo, she has just released a pasta today, a keto pasta made with lupin flour. I will leave it linked for you in the description box. There you go. Um, so let's get, let's get uh, cooking, cause I'm hungry and I'm gonna have this, it's two o'clock, which means dinner's gonna be late again tonight, which means we probably will just have whatever we have in the freezer for dinner tonight, because it's so late in the day. <laughs> frozen pizza, something to that effect. So, all right, here we go. delicious really really good uh, I think honestly I don't know that you would actually need to use a um, roasted chicken like that just 
chicken breast like I've done before, but it's so good. And one of you sweet, sweet people made the suggestion of using heavy cream to thicken it. Whew. What a difference. It was delicious. This stuff is outstanding. Um, it's really good. And the new pasta I just ordered, I cannot wait to make ramen with this. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Although we do have the soybean pasta. I would think we could make ramen with soybean pasta, but still, this, this is the good stuff. It's good stuff. If you, even if you aren't following any kind of specific diet, if you just like ramen, if you like chicken and dumplings, if you like that um, chicken and rice, if you like that salty, overstated chicken flavor that you find in a cup or a bowl of chicken noodle soup, uh, ramen, that kind of thing, salty, chickeny flavor. <laughs> They used to make chicken and biscuit crackers. Do you remember those? Do they still make those? Maybe they do. I haven't had one in an age. Um, that's what this stuff does. And um, I like it. I like it. If you don't like it salty, don't add as much as I did. Don't use a full, I used a teaspoon and just a smidgen more because I love that flavor. But if you don't use le less. So I hope I put that on the screen. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. Then I gotta go get back to work.